It was a year like any other. Your favorite everyday nerd was, well. Why? Why? Zach. Why? Are you okay? Like mentally, are you right in the head? No, Mr. Narrator Man, I'm not okay. Why are there so many Adam Sandler movies? Ah, Adam Sandler week. Your everyday nerd's annual movie event. That is an annual and hasn't been for a long time. Movie, 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 movie. When will the suffering end? In other words, I'm ending Adam Sandler week. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Don't worry though, it's Christmas and I'm not gonna leave you empty handed like Santa Claus left me empty handed for the last 27 years. We're talking about one more Adam Sandler movie. Kill me please. Don't get it twisted. Just because this is a cartoon does not mean this isn't a true bad Adam Sandler movie. In the first five minutes, Rob Schneider voices a Chinese man. We get plenty of burp and fart jokes. Long as burp. We're eating good tonight, fellas. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then drunk cartoon Adam Sandler does unspeakable acts to a car. Listen, sweetheart, I have to leave you here alone tonight. ka -chan. So yeah, we're absolutely watching an Adam Sandler movie. Sandler plays Davy Stone, a 30-year-old Jewish man who hates the holidays. You can tell because he sings a two-minute song about hating the holidays. Believing in Santa's all wrong. Oh! Also voiced by Adam Sandler is this man right here. I'd like to interject. Do you see him? His name is Whitey. And after getting in trouble with the law, Davey is sent to Whitey to become a referee in training for a youth basketball team. Community service, I guess. It's the holidays. Unfortunately, <laughs> Whitey sucks. So I want to take you on a journey through the character arc of Whitey. I think he's the most interesting and the worst part of this movie. And you know, I was gonna like write a proper script, but I thought because Adam Sandler and co-writers Brooks Arthur, Alan Covert, and Brad Isaacs didn't care enough to write a proper script for their movie, I'm just gonna point out things that this character does. Why the hell are we at the mall? Do you remember Dunkachino? Something's brewing at D&D. You can't get more soulless than a Dunkin' Donut commercial inside of a movie, can you? Dunkachino? Don't mind if I do. Oh, you can. You can. My buddy, Mr. Foot Locker, will warm your feet. Hello, Sharp Image, Body Shop, Tie Rack, GNC, Radio Shack. Uh, shout out to Radio Shack, who went bankrupt in 2015 and is now owned by Retail E Commerce Ventures, a holding company owned by Ty Lopez. Here in my garage. This isn't a joke. Correct me if I'm wrong, looks like the brand is surviving, but not necessarily uh, the workforce or the employees. We hope to bring back a workforce, but the e comm side of things is extremely efficient. Bubba, bubba. So here. Wow, Benjamin, an etch -a sketch. Whitey calls a Game Boy an etch -and sketch. At one point, he talks to Magical Reindeer. Hey! For some reason, the reindeer sound like Fall Guys from the hit video game Fall Guys. This one is less about Whitey, but for some reason, Whitey's sister, Eleanor, pulls out a trombone. Whitey also gets pushed into an outhouse covered in excrement. The worst has happened. Freezes into a cube of ice. And then the reindeer thaw him out by means that I am not allowed to show on the YouTube. Smell you later, Poopsicle. The craziest thing about these eight crazy nights is that this is an animated film. $34 million went into the creation of this thing. And for what? Is the animation anything spectacular? No, it's fine. It's serviceable, I guess. During Davy's tragic backstory, we get some pretty cool lighting and shading. But for the most part, the animation is stylistically bland. In fact, now that I think about it, oh no, I've been trying to forget this movie. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. For starters, I thought the song was called Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer, but apparently the education system has failed me once more. So using ran in this context is using the active past tense, which is wrong. What you want to do is use the passive past participle because we're talking about what was done to somebody and not what they did. 
So if you're ever in a situation where something like a large vehicular machine or hypothetically a reindeer tramples you, leaving you incapacitated, or hypothetically in the care of Santa Claus because you forgot that you were Jake Spakenheimer's grandmother, then you would use I got run over by a large vehicular machine or hypothetically a reindeer. Anyway, shout out to this one Reddit comment for five years ago for learning me a thing or two. I did watch that H Bomber guy video on plagiarism, so I wanna make sure I cite my sources. Don't wanna get ran through by the comment section, am I right? Anyways, grandma got run over by a reindeer. It's a movie. <laughs> hey man, I'm kinda busy. What is it that you need? <sighs> well, Mr. Therapist, man. I hate these character models. This one elf's head is proportionally way bigger than the rest of his body. Kind of reminds me of Dale, actually. It does look like Dale, yeah. Most Christmas specials have fun and catchy music, but not this one. We got Grandma's Gonna Do The Pants Off for Santa. That's what Grandma's Gonna Do. Okay, that one is kind of a bop. Yeah, that one goes hard. But in a very bad and shameful kind of way. No, I think it just goes hard. And then there's Grandma's Killer Fruitcake. Grandma's Killer Fruitcake. And why is the main character named Jake? Spankenheimer. And why do they use the word consummate in a children's movie? Why is the dog's name Doofus? Because he's probably a doofus. What'd the poor dog do? Be a doofus? And why does Jake look like a 2012 Let's Player? He does. I've been saying that. Here's my biggest problem with the movie, and maybe you can help me yeah, understand okay. it okay. here. I think out of anybody that I know, you're the one that can give me the most insight into this situation. It has to do with anything other than supernatural. I really can't. Okay, so Jake's cousin Mel, right? She does this whole thing where she sues Santa Claus. No pantalones. So they go to court which is already dumb because it's a Christmas movie. Have you ever been in court? No. It's very, very boring. Yeah, I can imagine. The whole trial is based on the fact that Santa Claus allegedly kidnapped grandma. But if grandma shows up at the court, and I'm not missing, then doesn't this mean this is a mistrial? No, you're right as hell, that's a mistrial. They need to just cut it out and start the trial all over again because it's null and void. So then why the hell do we go on with the trial? Why do they go on? That's so stupid. That's it, I'm going to bed. I'm right. done. Well, I'm done. I'm going to bed. Who do I build this to? This Christmas, Taco Bell would like to propose a traditional holiday feast. To start, a delicious main course. Welcome to Yen. I'm Carrie Knight, your only and forever now host of your everyday nerd. His body wasn't found. I have an Ewok. I have another Ewok. Huh. Hey, good job, buddy. I knew you could do it. You certainly are an everyday nerd. <laughs> Zach. Hey, Zach. Can you hear me? Santa? Yeah, it's me. Santa Claus. I really overdid it this time. I have something very important to tell you. Bro, you're not even real. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm a Taco Bell glutton hallucinatory figment of your imagination. Wait, what? Look, man. Sometimes you don't get what you want. And the truth of the matter is, if you get rid of Adam Sandler week, Christmas as it is, as we know it will just be ruined. How? It's over. No more Christmas. Why? No more Christmas. No more Santa. No more taxes for some reason. If you get rid of Adam Sandler week and Christmas, there's there's no more taxes. Jeb Bush becomes president, I think. <laughs> Adam Sandler's Eight Crazy Nights is a blight on humanity. <sighs> I never thought I'd see an animated holiday-centered film that was worse than Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, but here we are. Thanks so much. Ho, ho, ho. Not so fast there, Zach. Now what? Don't you know that Christmas is a Trojan horse for capitalism? By getting rid of taxes, you allow millions of people to buy a ton more Christmas <laughs> cars, Christmas decorations. What Christmas on earth is happening Christmas now? Decorations. Where does all that extra money go to? Uh, mega corporations? Ho, ho, ho. Not so fast, evil Santa. Evil Santa Claus. <laughs> And what better way to finish an old-fashioned Christmas meal than with a rousing chorus of your <coughs> Oh, that Taco Bell. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. That Taco Bell came on strong. 
That's inhumane. I know this is supposed to be a Christmas special, but uh, I think we just jumped the shark. What? I'm, I'm, I'm back? In my, in my corporeal form? Holy sh- Well, I've officially done it. <sighs> I'm a certifiable crazy person. Cognitive dissonance. That's what did it. Speaking of, I have cognitive dissonance for this movie right here. You would think that someone like Mr. Sandler, a goofy man of goofy men, if you will, would use the power of animation to fuel his creativity. Instead, we get a nightmare. Eight Crazy Nights is the kind of movie where any sense of holiday-centered joy is completely overshadowed by indescribable horror disguised as jokes. Eight Crazy Nights is the kind of movie where blatant product placement is turned into a three-minute musical where the referee from Foot Locker and the panda from Panda Express have written dialogue. Eight Crazy Nights is the kind of movie where I don't care. I'm done. I talked about the movie. Adam Sandler week is staying, I guess. Join me next year where we talk about more Goofy Man, talk about Goofy Man movies. And that'll be the last time you exploit the working class, you ho, ho, horrible uh... human being. Sometimes you just gotta talk about some bad Adam Sandler movies for the greater good. Yeah, 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 whatever. We gotta, we gotta talk about something real quick, Santa. I have been alive for almost 28 years and I've never received a single present for you. What gives? You know what? You're absolutely right. Hey, y'all. That's right. One wish. I get a Christmas wish? What do you want? Taco Bell. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, give me give me Taco Bell, you hack. It's a Christmas miracle. Ugh. And that, kids, is the story of a man with too many ideas and the inability to weed out the bad ones. Am I talking about Adam Sandler? Am I talking about myself? I don't know. Um, you're a magic man and they want Taco Bell.